Okay, hello everybody. Um, this is the Necrophobic Zombie here, and what I have to show you today is WTF Minecraft's version of a combination lock and a lava bridge. And the basic point of the combination lock is if you enter the correct combination here and press the button, voila, you have a bridge that is useful for SMP servers when you want to, you know have a secret base on the other side of a lava lake and you don't really want people going in and so the other thing he added to this is to where even if you have any one of the levers in the wrong position you know doesn't matter which one any one if it's in the wrong position and you push the button you get shot and he had a tutorial on this recently and the thing I decided to add to it is in the tutorial he mentioned wanting to make it to where it has a three strikes you're out method so you get it wrong three times and then a separate trap activates which in turn kills you so I went ahead and took that idea and applied it in my own build so as you can see I failed twice and now when I fail the third time uh oh lava everyone's best friend so yeah obviously I'm in creative mode so I'm not dying but it works out pretty nicely I've got pistons blocking off both the exits here um not sure why that one didn't get retracted but yeah I'll look into that uh and so basically three strikes you're out and you die unfortunately with the recent full release uh takes a lot longer for lava to disappear but I mean it can be good that means not only do they die but they have to wait a while before they can try again so I guess it is a plus but yeah so basically I'll what I'll be showing you guys is just a basic run through of um, the actual combination lock mechanism though I will link in an annotation or the description to WTF's actual tutorials on this so it'll be a lot easier for you guys um, but then I'll go into more detail on my actual system here so basically over here we have the main aspect of it this jumbled mess here is hooked up to the levers. We have, you know, lever 1, lever 2, lever 3, lever 4, lever 5, lever 6, and yeah, that needs to be covered. Um, so yeah, basically with every flip of the lever, it'll turn off, it'll either, you know, activate or turn off these three torches here. So the, the levers that we brought down are attached to these three torches. Then we have blocks over them so that it sends the current to this here. So basically, as long as those three torches are off and the others are on, then we're good. So what that does is, if the three torches are not, in, or if three levers are not in the proper position, this will be turned off and this will be turned on. And when this is turned on, it heads into half of an AND gate here, and that. And the other half is hooked up here to our button. The button system can be a lot simpler, but in order to put the lava here, I had to make it a complicated setup. All confusing in this too. This was a lot simpler. Like if you watch WTF Minecraft videos, his is a lot simpler. But I wanted to put the lava there, so I had to raise it up, which required a lot more work to it. But yeah. And so basically, you press the button, it'll go down into the other half of that AND gate down here, and voila, send a current down this line, which leads up here to the dispensers right here and the pistons. So it'll send a wave up into the pistons here, lifting them up, and then in a few seconds, it'll send a wave into the dispensers here shooting you and then the pistons will close again 
And yeah, so that's the basic system he had for failure. And then if you get it right, this torch will be on. So let me go input the combination here. If you get it correct, this torch should be turned on over here. Yes, yes it is. Which will activate half of this AND gate. Which the other button is hooked up to as well. So you press that. And it'll send a current down to that AND gate. But since the other end is turned off, it still won't work. But since this end is turned off, it'll turn this one on. Sending a current down to this T flip-flop we have here. Now all this I had underground, but I decided to show you guys I would suspend it in midair. And so basically, that activates the T flip-flop. Toggling what down here is our... Hang on a sec. Our bridge mechanism. Now you don't need all of these repeaters. I just have them here so that it does one set of pistons at a time. It's the same on each side. You can, you know, just have a line of repeaters here going into the pistons that they all just activate at once, but I think it looks cooler this way. And, uh, I mean, I've got creative mode and too many items, so the repeaters are no cost to me. So, yeah, that's what happens if you get it correct. Now, then, what I implemented into it is the three strikes you're out method. And the main part of that is over here where every time you get it wrong as well as sending a current into the pistons and the dispensers it sends a current down this way Hang on a sec I gotta go around which spirals down here and goes into a RS Norlatch array now this specific Norlatch array I got from CNB Minecraft he is one of my favorite minecrafters for redstone stuff I do recommend you check out his channel. I will probably link it in the description. And basically what happens is every time a current flows into this, here I can show you with a button here. Every time a current flows into this block here, one torch will light up. Input another current, torch will light up. the next torch will light up. Then you input another current, third torch will light up, which will send power through here on down this track here into this block here powering all these pistons that are hiding the lava as well as powering this piston this piston which will push these two blocks blocking this way and then two pistons behind underneath these two blocks here blocking your exit from either side and thereby killing you now hang on a sec let me take a look under here one of these was not working my question is why it has two blocks that would explain it okay so you know yeah forget about that and then so basically you get it wrong three times and you die but then it also has a manual reset to where if you were to get it right it would fall down this line here from the correct AND gate as you've seen previously it'll follow down this line here which leads into a universal reset which is this red part here um C and B will go into what each color represents and stuff so yeah that'll go into here which will reset all these torches. Um, let me do that real quick here. Let me just grab a torch. So it will reset all the torches along here. See, they're all off again. So that sets the counter back to zero. And then if you get it wrong three times, it'll also turn off these repeaters here. Um, I know it's really long, but that's just for the delay. And basically what these repeaters do is it sets the time between when the pistons retract up here revealing the lava until when they go back up to block the lava off again. Currently 
I found a good time works with 61 repeaters set on full delay. Now I guess it takes up a lot of room, but what I did with it was I just used the little blocks mod, so it only took like three blocks lengths right here to put 61 of these into a small little space. Now this world I'm going to put up for downloads so that you guys can look at this, so that's why I switched it to this because I don't know if you will have little blocks or not but if you do feel free to just change it and so yeah basically once all three get on this will go and you know many many seconds later it'll go into this exact same red line here and reset all the torches so that's basically what I added um I don't think there's anything else majorly that I put in here so, you know, if WTF Minecraft ends up seeing this, you know, if you're watching this, here's an idea you could use. I'm pretty sure you could make it way more compact. And actually, if you have the Little Box mod, you could, because an RS Norlatch array is completely Little Box compatible. So you can make this entire circuit right here within, like, three blocks, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so that's basically what I have to show you. So... If we come over here, yeah, so you get it right, you get the bridge, like that. You get it wrong, however, you get shot by a firing squad, yay! And once again, if you were to get it wrong three times, Hang on a sec, I'm trying to collect all the arrows so I can put them back. Uh, you get it wrong three times, you're dead. So yeah, the lava will fill the whole area, and anyone in here is screwed. Now unfortunately, there's no looting system to this, so if some other guy on your server falls for it, you probably aren't going to get any of the items he was carrying. Which can be upsetting if they have diamond stuff, but you know what? It's even more angering to them to know that it just flat out got burnt. So yeah, that's basically what I have for you guys. And yeah, please download the map if you want to take a closer look at this. I will link one that is triggered to, that is this map. And then I will link another that is just my flat out redstone map where I build pretty much anything and everything in, including this. But it'll have a lot more to it too if you want to take a look at some of the other stuff I do. I'll probably, if this video gets decent views, this is my first YouTube video by the way. So if it gets decent views, I will probably upload more of the other stuff I've built in my map. But yeah, and so please check out WTF Minecraft's page and check out CNB um, Minecraft Redstone's page. I don't remember his exact name at the moment, but I'll have it linked in the description or an annotation or something. So yeah, please take a look at them both. They are where I get all my inspiration, like literally all of it. I don't think I've built anything from anyone else aside from them. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and I'm sorry for the poor video quality, but I'm running this on Hypercam, because I don't have any money to actually go out and buy a good recording software. So if I actually get enough views, I will look into getting a better recording software. Um, please comment your suggestions. Really, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is Fraps. So... Yeah, um, thanks for watching, and goodbye.